I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't... Greatness, he wrote, lies not in being strong, but in the right using of strength. He or she is the greatest whose strength carries up the most hearts by the attraction of his own. Hey everyone, Akir, hope you guys are doing well. And no matter how old you are or whatever position you may hold in life, chances are that at some point you have been a leader. Unfortunately though, we have come to closely associate leadership with superficial things like titles or accolades. We falsely assume that just because someone has a nice desk job or a position of power or influence, he or she is entitled to be a leader. Leadership is not about your occupation, salary, or birthright. Instead, it is a character trait that we can all cultivate and express differently. And it begs the question, what defines good leadership? How can you get other people to have interest in your ideas? And most importantly, how can we develop good traits ourselves that make us better leaders? Today's video is all about good leadership, how to foster it, and how to encourage it in the people around you. Everyone knows that you can only lead by example. There's no other effective way to inspire people. If you want your team or group to be positive, you must be positive. And the same is true for your family, partner, and friends. Leadership is about ownership, and at some point in our lives we have all had a relationship with someone, a parent, teacher, employer, or friend, who greatly changed the way we look at the world. Someone who had high standards and truly stood for something. Someone who inspired and motivated us. Someone who taught us to set goals and instilled the confidence and spirit to achieve them. Such a person is a true leader. Many of our leaders today are effective managers and several of them are even inspiring. We have CEOs that can guide thousands of employees towards a common objective, and we have politicians whose beautiful rhetoric can inspire millions of citizens. But in my opinion, leadership can go even a step further. It must give people a long-term vision that imbues their lives with meaning. It must point them in a new direction and show how their every action is an indispensable part of a whole. It is not enough for our leaders to teach us to be productive or efficient. They need to inspire us to change or improve the world in a meaningful way. For this video, I wanted to go back and reflect on all of the leaders in my life who have had an impact on me and make a list of all of the qualities that I most admire in them. So before we go to the next part, leave a comment down below with your list of what you think makes an incredible leader and then compare them to mine. First things first, only expect from others what you expect from yourself. Never ask someone to perform a task without a full willingness to do it alone. More often, when things go wrong, try to stay calm. Life is nothing but a series of solved problems, and that means we're going to constantly run into challenges and situations all the time, and it's important that you stay calm and take your time to think your group through them. Also, when you screw up, admit it. There is no place for ego in good leadership. Be clear about your values and rules as well. There are certain things that you won't put up with and some things that you will. Finally, respect others and don't try to change them or tell them what to do. It is impossible to change people by giving them a lecture or yelling at them. You can only change yourself and lead by example. Set high expectations for yourself and pursue a life of meaning and passion, and you'll see that it'll trickle down to the people that follow you. Be a great leader and create that same experience for those around you. True leadership is about so much more than authority and recognition from the outside world. It's about developing others and helping them reach their full potential. It's about breaking down barriers and helping others through the uncertainty of the future with humility and presence. And with that, I will leave you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nikhil. I make videos like this all the time. If you enjoyed what you watched, let me know down below with a like or comment or maybe a subscription to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I am also very active. And last but not least, go check out my personal website where I have free resources like editing packs and resume help. And I'm selling apparel, journals, and hats for you all to buy if that's something that you're interested in. Most importantly though, I will see you guys in the next one.